Hi and welcome, it's Jamie Hartley here from Crossfader and in today's video I'm going to show you five ways to help you vary up the transitions in your DJ set. It can be really easy to fall into the trap of mixing in and out the same way every time. Now there's nothing wrong with this but it can start to make your set sound quite predictable. These five techniques can be applied to nearly any DJ setup or software so you should be able to take these techniques and straight away practice them on your equipment. Some may be slightly harder than others to pull off but I'm here to break down each one in this video and show you exactly how to achieve that end result. If you stick around until the end of the video I'm going to show you exactly where you can download all of the music that I've used in this video for free so you can practice along step by step with each individual technique. Drop a comment below to let me know which of these five techniques is your favourite. Also remember to like, share and subscribe to help us keep making videos just like this one. Let's start with the simplest one first. This is the filter in and out technique. To start our mix in using the filter make sure it's turned all the way to the low pass and also make sure to total kill the low EQ. Otherwise you will still hear the thud of the kick. I also turned down some mid just to take the edge off as the filter rises up in the mix. This is a great way to reveal a new track. Let's now put this into practice. Wait, 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 wait. For this example, I'm waiting for the last drop before setting off a new track. What you think? What you think? It's cool. What you think? What you think that we think it, 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 it's cool? Eight bars later, it's time to filter the track in. Think, think, what you think? As the filter is rising, you may need to adjust the opposite track's EQs. Now to mix out, slowly turn the filter all the way into the low pass. For this next mixing technique, you may need to adjust your DJ hardware or software settings. Turn the vinyl break on so that it lasts one beat in length. In record box, this is done under the controller tab of the settings window. If you press pause after this is turned on, the track should break and come to a stop. For this technique, I'm also going to set up a half beat echo on the track that I'll be applying the break to. Now, when we pause the track, the break will also echo out. Let's put this into practice and use it at the end of our mix. Mix in can be basic, but then start to apply the echo just before you're going to hit the break. It will sound best if you pause one or two beats before the next phrase. This is a really clean way for a track to exit the mix. Another version of this would be to perform a backspin at the end of your transition. However, the backspin can sound quite loud and abrupt if not done properly. Some controllers don't have very loose jog wheels, so make sure to keep hold while performing the backspin. To make this sound even better, let's add the echo to it and kill the fader for a clean cut. Let's now perform this in the mix. My mix in is going to be exactly the same. Then let's apply some echo, perform the backspin across the last bar of the phrase.
For the next mixing technique, we're going to make use of the loop feature. Make sure you're ready to activate a four beat loop. The plan here is to activate a four beat loop on the last four beats of a phrase. As I do this, I'll jump to the new track's build up, then chop the loop in half as the next track builds up into the drop. Try to chop it in half every eight or four beats. Don't tighten the loop too fast. You may need to alter some EQs while doing this technique to finish the transition. This next technique is all about rhythm and timing. As DJs, we're programmed to listen to the number one, two, three, and four. The strong beats, usually the kick drum, that run throughout the track. But there is an off beat that runs in between. A lot of house and dance music has a hi-hat drum running along this timing. By using the up fader, we can isolate this individual drum sound. If you do it on the wrong beat, it will sound like this, just isolating the kicks and claps. To practice this, start with the up fader at the top. Now try to count along in eight rather than four. This is double time rhythm. Then start by hitting the bottom of the fader on the number one, back up for number two, down for three, and so on. It's fast, but try to keep a consistent motion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll notice I keep my fingers locked in place, creating a barrier and moving my wrist or arm up and down. Clean this technique up even more, add a reverb to that channel. This fills the gaps between each beat and adds some texture. Let's now use it in the mix. Once you have the tracks on beat, introduce the new hi-hat across the length of a phrase. If you need to learn about phrasing, make sure to check out our online DJ courses on our website. You could also add an echo to this technique and even do it on the mix out as well. For the last technique, I'm going to use hot cues to create a pattern in the mix. First though, I need to set up some useful hot cues on the track I'm eventually mixing out. I'm listing out for parts of the track or song that are isolated. Small parts of a vocal work well or individual melodic notes in a melody. Let's just pick out a few now. Both of these hot cues land on the number one beat of a bar. This means I can always go back to these to reset my timing when creating a pattern. The third hot cue I can set on a different beat of the bar. Let's have this one. Now we can jam with the three hot cues. Try to create a pattern that repeats every four beats. Just remember to always jump back to the first hot cue each bar. Let's now put this into practice and perform some hot cue play throughout the mix out.
To make this more interesting, let's apply a quarter beat echo for the final few bars. Then, using a filter to mix out at the same time. I really hope you learned at least one new technique to add to your DJ sets in this video. Please remember to comment below which is your favorite. Even if it's something that you already knew how to do, I'd love to know which of these five was your favorite. So comment below and let me know. To download all of the tracks that I've used in this video for free, just head to wearecrossfader.co.uk forward slash mixing ideas. wearecrossfader.co.uk forward slash mixing ideas. There should also be a card that's popped up that should take you directly to that link. Also, as a thank you for watching this video, on the other side of that link, there are three more mixing ideas and free lessons for you to check out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video very soon.